Welcome to the Orchestra Team's Drupal Basics series. This video will cover how to create a new content type and add some fields to it. Content types serve two main purposes. The first is to determine what is included in a particular bit of content you want to publish on the web. The second is to break it out into organizational units that allow designers to determine how it's going to be presented. Put another way, they help determine what the content is and how it's organized on the site. To create or edit content, we have to be able to be logged in as an administrative user. You can see on our test site, Portland Community Media, I've already been logged in as PCM Train, which is an admin. From here, we can access the administrative screen by going to pcm.orchestrateam.com slash admin. From here, we can navigate the menus to get to the content type section. Let's go ahead and create a new content type. You can see here that we have a board agenda and board minutes. Well, what if we want to take a list of the attendees of a board meeting? Uh, we can go ahead and add a content type to do that. We're going to go ahead and give this content type a name. Give it a machine readable name for the actual Drupal site. Give it a description. set how we want to submit this. In this case, we want the title to be the person's name. We'll go ahead and leave the body alone, and then we'll put in a little bit of a submission guideline. We'll set some of the workflow settings. So we'll make it so the default for this is unpublished unless you're able to check it. And we also don't want to promote these to the front page. We'll also set up the comment settings. We're going to disable comments for this particular content type. And we're ready to go. We're just going to go ahead and save this. Now you can see we have an attendee of meeting content type. I want to go ahead and look at the fields that are available for this content type. This is using the CCK module. We're able to manage the fields on every content type. Here you can see we have the person's name, we have the menu settings, the body, the book, revision information, past settings, and the comment settings. We can also add a new field. In this case, I'm going to add a field that says position. I want to know, for example, if the president of an organization is coming to my board meeting. So I give the field a label that's used in the actual text when we're adding the content for that content type. And then I'm also going to have a machine readable name for this particular field. This field type is just going to be text. And it's just going to be a text field. And we're going to put it right underneath the person's name. Also, we want to be able to add an image for this particular person. We have plenty of image fields already set up, so we're just going to use an existing field. We're going to use the inserted image right here. We're going to give it a label just for this particular content type of portrait. And go ahead and drop this in there right underneath our position field. Once we save this, we have a couple more settings to add from our brand new field that we've created. 60 is probably going to be fine for the size of the text field. And we're not going to put any help text in right now. Now we've got one more setting for that field that we added that was the image field. We're going to go ahead and save those field settings too. And we have a new content type. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. You can see here we have the person's name, the position field that we created, the portrait image field that we built in, a body and then all those other pieces of content and behavior that we can set for this particular content type. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video. You can see more videos like these by clicking on the playlist link in the vid. Also, if you have any questions, you can visit us at www.orchestrateam.com or send an email to info at orchestrateam.com.